Hi everybody, welcome to the makeup chair. So today we are doing a look for kind of dark brown eyes. So kind of um, almost black, brown, chocolate kind of colour. Um, it would suit somebody who has hazel eyes, but I think it's more preferred to somebody who has chocolate kind of darker brown eyes. But then again, it will suit anybody if you want to just try it out and see how you actually feel. Because it's kind of a thing with some, some eye colours, it can be kind of um, trial and error. So just try out the looks and let me know if you have a particular eye colour that this actually suited. Just let, let people know in the box below so in case they want to check it out or a video response or anything like that. Um, so yeah, we, what I've done is I've taken a kind of baby pink and then I've taken a slightly darker nudish brown and then a chocolate brown. And the great thing is that when you have darker eyes you can get away with using black. Um, so black liners, um, mascara, those kind of things. Um, if you had slightly hazel kind of colours you might want to use a brown but on this colour particularly the um, chocolate browns this looks really really good. So this is my everyday look that I'm doing today. Um, just keeping it very very simple. Any of the looks that I have um, already done would suit somebody who has kind of chocolate brown eyes, darker eyes, but this specifically, you know, would really, really make them stand out and show how kind of chocolatey they are. So I really hope you enjoyed this, and um, if you're interested, just keep watching. Okay, so I've already done one eye, and we're just going to go and do the other one. So I've primed my lips with Art Deco Primer Potion. Tiny, tiny amount of that. It doesn't, you know, it's not really necessary, but I'm just going to try and use it. Um, so we're going to use this kind of pinky colour here, because I think pinks look really, really nice with brown eyes. So we're first of all going to take the light pink, so any kind of like whitish um, ice cream kind of pink that you have will be fine. And we're just going to place that over the lid. Remember to get it right into the corners and right down to the lash line as well. And that's just our base. Now we're going to use this slightly pinker colour. And we're just going to place this on the outer part, going into about half ways. See, now we have these two kind of brownish, brownish kind of colours. So we're going to take, first of all, the skin kind of colour, which is probably like a shade darker than my natural skin colour. So that kind of, kind of colour. And we're going to place that just on the crease and above the crease. And then we're just going to blend it up towards the brow. And then we're going to take the darker shade, which is like a chocolate colour. A little bit of shimmer to it. can be matte if you want though, it's fine. Onto the fluffy brush again. And we're going to stick this kind of onto the the line but the crease but a little bit lower than what we did with the other brown. Now if you need to you can take the, the other brown again and just go over it and just um, help it to blend but I'm just going to blend everything now. Then we're going to use um, a waterproof black liner. So we're going to do the upper and lower part of the eye, but you can just do the lower part if you want. But blacks really suit people with um, darker eyes, you can really get away with it. So upper and lower part, just by closing your eyes you're going to get the upper and lower part. So now you're going to take a pinpointed brush, and we're just going to take a little bit of the pink colour, the first pink colour. And we're just going to put it a little bit underneath, keeping right up to the lash line. Now you want to make sure that this isn't too ready or anything that's going to cause your eyes to look kind of bloodshot and stuff. This kind of light kind of pink will kind of try to avoid that. And we're going to curl our lashes, just curling with my fingertips. Now you don't want to kind of smudge the makeup or anything, so just curl it very gently. Now you're going to take your mascara. I'm using my liner effect mascara. basically the eyes done so just on the cheeks I'm going to take a little bit of um, this kind of peachy but it's it's just kind of a skin color I'll just take it onto a basic brush and it goes everywhere I'm just gonna smile and get the entire apple of the cheek and because it's kind of close to being on the skin color it just uh, really gives a very natural glow so if you wanted to buy something like this just buy it like a shade half a shade darker than your natural skin but this is just a mineral powder. 
but it's just in half shade darker with a little bit of a peachy pink tone to it. If you wanted you could add um, a pinky or peachy kind of um, blush over this but I think this is kind of just keeping it very very simple kind of fresh looking. And then on the lips all I've done is I've taken um, CoverGirl, this is CoverGirl, I think it's Rose and it's this colour here but everything's going to be in the box below if you want to check it out. It's just a little bit of that on the lips and then I've taken a nude lipstick like this, this is the number 7 and I'm just taking a lot of this because I kind of like the shimmery brown and it kind of goes with the, the brownie colour that we put on the lid and it's got shimmer to it so it kind of all looks pretty nice together and that is the finished look so all the other looks that I kind of do are for um, kind of brown eyes it does suit brown eyes so if you want to see any other looks for brown eyes you can check the other ones they're um, kind of in the sidebar and stuff like that so I really hope that you enjoyed that if you have any more questions just let me know you can let me know here you can let me know on form spring or you can write to me on Facebook because I have a Facebook account and all the links to all those are below and it's all Sinead Katie and all the accounts so I really hope you enjoyed that look and um, I hope you enjoy your day I'm Sinead Katie and thanks for watching